Welcome to the RS Info TV channel. Before going to the topic, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now and press the bell icon to get notification about my new videos. Unrooting Samsung Galaxy Devices Download the stock firmware for your device. In order to unroot your Galaxy device, you'll need the stock firmware for your device and carrier. There are various places that you can find this firmware online. Use a search engine and search for your Galaxy model and carrier along with the phrase stock firmware. Unzip the firmware after downloading it to find the .tar.md5 file. This method will not reset your Knox counter, which is a way for Samsung to tell if your device has been rooted or modified. It's currently possible to root without tripping the Knox counter. But if you rooted your device using the older methods there is no way to reset the counter. Download and install Odin 3. This is an Android developer tool that will allow you to push your stock firmware from your computer to your Android device. You can find the installation files at Odin's XDA thread. I am posting the link in the description. Download and install the Samsung drivers. If you haven't connected your device to your computer before, you'll need to install the Samsung USB drivers. The quickest way to do this is to download the drivers from Samsung. Link is in the description. Download a zip file. Double click it to open it and then extract the installer. Run the installer to install the drivers. Power your device down. You'll need to reboot it in a special mode. Hold the volume down, home, and power buttons. This will boot the device in download mode. Connect it to your computer via USB. Launch Odin 3. You should see a green box on the left side of the IDCOM section. If you don't see this, your Samsung USB drivers are not properly installed. Click the pd.a button in Odin 3. Browse for the .tar.md5 stock firmware file that you downloaded. Check the AP or pd.a and auto reboot boxes. Make sure all of the other boxes are unchecked. Click the .start button to begin the unroot process. This may take about 5 to 10 minutes. When the process is complete, you'll see pass in the top box in Odin 3. Your Galaxy should boot into the normal TouchWiz operating system. Perform a factory reset to fix a boot loop. If your phone gets stuck in an infinite boot loop after unlocking, you'll need to perform a factory reset. This will delete everything on the device. Press and hold the power button to shut off the device. Press and hold volume up, home, and power to boot into the recovery menu. Use the volume buttons to select wipe data factory reset and press the power button to select it. Select wipe data partition and then reboot system now. Your Galaxy will reboot and wipe all of the data, returning it to factory settings. Thanks for watching. I hope you got it helpful. Watch my other videos. Thanks for watching. If you got it helpful, please like and share this video, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you in the next upcoming video.